Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning. It sure is cold out here. It's a, it's a nice, brisk, negative one degree Fahrenheit out this morning. It's chilly. It's supposed to warm up, but it's a little nippy this morning, that's for sure. Almost forgot to put my gloves on. Hope would not like that. Luckily, we have an inside job today to do up at the Octa property. We have a window we could install, but I don't want to do that today. We're going to work inside instead. I don't want to do that today either. <laughs> Ran out to the feed store yesterday and I didn't unload my truck because it was too cold. Well, it's even colder this morning. Ready? Feels a little less dramatic than I thought. It's days like today. I am glad we have the shell of the tiny house built, insulated, and a little bit of heat in there because it would not be fun working outside all day today. I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community where thousands come together to take their creativity to the next step. Being the new year now, I know that's crazy to be thinking it's already. 2022. I've been looking back and reflecting on last year and we have had a huge year here at Lumna Acres and I was reflecting back to all the classes we took on Skillshare. We've been using Skillshare for just about a year now and there's been so many classes that we have taken and so many of those classes has helped us out a ton. I've taken classes on solar, on filming, on editing on cooking and baking and Gina and Olivia have taken classes on cooking and baking all different sorts of classes and it's kind of neat you to look back and to see how much you've done over the year I love learning I just never want to stop learning so to look back and to see all the stuff we've done and then to look back and see how much new stuff we've learned and Skillshare has helped us out a lot a lot of the times when we have something we're looking for we really want to dive deep into learning that one topic We'll look it up on Skillshare, take a class or two on it, and just expand our knowledge. So I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to check out Skillshare for the first 1,000 of our subscribers that click the link in the video description down below, Skillshare is going to give you a one-month free trial. Thanks, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get on with the build. What do you think of all your windows? Love it. Looks so good. I'm just thinking of what it will look like all together. Well, the garage door and then the two upper windows? Yeah. You're going to get up on the lift and install those? No. Come on. You know you want to. No, I don't even want you to go up there. Oh, I'm going to do it. Yeah. 
so much brighter in here now with just the windows. It's so much brighter, it's crazy. Yeah. All right, now we have lights from the sun. We charged our battery with the sun. We heated this overnight with the sun. It's eight degrees out right now and it's 42 degrees in here. That's pretty wild. Wow. Yeah, didn't cost us anything extra. <laughs> Love it. All right. So I am gonna blast that heater for a minute while I'm opening the door and getting all the plywood in. We'll get it like up to probably like 50 degrees in here real quick while we unload the truck. And then we'll get to work. It's nice to know that we can keep that warm in there enough to keep everything okay until we get the boiler. Hooked. Yes. Yeah, it's, we can keep everything. We didn't know, but like Gina said, it's nice knowing we can keep it all above freezing in the whole house with this little electric heater with the sun from the solar system and then it recharges throughout the day and we have more than enough power until we get the outdoor boiler hooked up. And we want to get that hooked up one of the next things because it'll be nice to be able to work in here and have it say 65, 70 or something like that. Have the radiant heat going. So and there's a few things you want to find out. We want to know if the radiant heat down here Having that on heats it enough upstairs so we don't need to put heat on the second floor or if we're gonna want heat in the second floor. We ourselves don't like our bedrooms really hot. So if it'll heat upstairs, say like the 62, 65, we'll be happy with that and we won't put radiant heat on that floor. But if it doesn't get warm enough up there, we'll put radiant heat. So it'll be nice to find that out before we start getting all the rooms closed off. So in this area, somewhere like here, we've got to figure out the layout. This is going to be the closet for all of the outdoor wood boiler components, the well pump, and then our hot water tank. So we want to get this wall sheathed so that way we don't have to do it through a closet opening. where we have the radiant heat in here working in this floor anymore. So that is going to be the closet for all of the mechanical stuff, minus the doorway. Me and Gina are both visual people, and we kind of visualize different, and we've learned that over the years being married. So we have found doing building projects, which works best for both of us, is to draw stuff out on paper first, and then when we're building, to draw it out so we're both on the same page. So we laid out the shower wall, and then this closet wall, so we both know what's going on because we have a lot going on in this little room. We wanna make sure that everything's gonna work the way we think it's both gonna work. So this is what we've done. 
and you don't mess around with a girl's bathroom. So I had in my mind what I want, so we just did it out, laid it out, everything. We both agree it looks good as in what we can see as of right now. The shower area is gonna be awesome because we're gonna actually, the way it works, it's gonna be awesome for even when we're not living here when we have a different house because I can bring the dogs in and give them a bath and all that right in here. And I think it's gonna be easier for us for that and for them and so it will make bath time go a lot smoother for them. Need to bring the chopper up here now that we have power. We'll make this stuff go a lot quicker. And I can help you. Yeah, we don't. We just have battery operated tools anymore. excavation work this four inch piece of PVC pipe for our well line put them in the wrong spot. I sure that was. I don't know. Damn contractors. Can you come down so we're level? Right there, yep. So we'll go forty-one and a quarter to forty-six. Six by minus an inch. Twenty, so we go nineteen.
noises. to open up the shower drain and see what it all looks like. This has been covered up since we installed the plumbing. We haven't checked it out. closet. We're going to a pocket door to get into the mechanical closet. So a lot of the wall is actually going to be the pocket door. So we've got to frame it up so it'll accept the pocket door kit. So 76 and a half.
Perfect. everything right in place now. I like it. Because we have everything out and we're just in the mode of building walls, or Al is, I should say, we're just gonna go ahead and build that one little wall we have for the walking shower that we're planning. And so get that done. I figured we'd get the shower wall all built while we're working in there. Then we'll have all of our walls done and we might end up sheetrocking in there sooner than later and getting a working bathroom or at least a working toilet. That would be nice to have. All right, I'm gonna put down a bunch of Lexol.
six. stiffens it all up nicely. Can you visualize it now? Can you? I can. Taking a poop right there and then showering right here. Just don't poop in the shower, okay? No, don't poop in the shower. I'm thinking right now I'm gonna put my fan right in the shower because most of the steam is going to be made in here. So if we have the fan in the shower, it'll just exhaust it right up and out and keep the whole bathroom steam free. So that's what I'm thinking. We'll have our shower right here. Actually, I think this two by six is in the right spot so our plumbing can run up right up the side of it and our shower head can mount on the side of it. And that's gonna be pretty much dead center. And it'll be right over the drain. So that'll be nice. So if you're just new to the channel, when we were building this whole building or the concrete slab, we did all of our in-ground plumbing in the, in the ground and then we poured our slab. And when we were pouring the slab, I tapered our shower drain so I don't need a pan. So this is the shower pan. Everything's already done. It's all nice and tapered and angled down to our drain. So as long as it all works good, the water should flow right there and go out into our septic system that we built. I am so glad we put those three full sheets of plywood up before we did the walls because they were a bear to get in without the walls. And then if we had this doorway to work around, that would not have been fun. I do not enjoy working in closets, whether it's building them, sheetrocking them, mudding them and taping them. It's just, you're so confined, it's hard to do anything. So I'm glad we did all the plywood first. And then on the back side here, it'll just be a half a sheet, so we'll have to just kind of wiggle this one up and in. But that's only that, and then this one will be pretty easy because it's just boom. Yeah. Just don't know if I want to do sheetrock on this wall yet, or if we're gonna end up doing more plywood. The plywood's gotten pretty expensive, so if I can get away with sheetrock, that's what I'm gonna do. But if I have to mount stuff here, I'll get some plywood. Yeah, you might have to figure that out sooner than yeah. later. And why we're building this right now is so we know what we have for room and where we can have room to mount stuff because that's getting, I mean, that's yeah. the next, pretty much the next step. Pretty, right? much the next, pretty much the next step is we gotta get our mechanical closet built. So we gotta get everything in here for our radiant heat, our hot water, and our well. And if I need to mount anything on this side of the wall for the radiant heat or any of the heating stuff, I want the plywood up so we have something more rigid to screw into. And if we don't need this wall for mounting, I'm gonna put sheetrock there. So we just gotta wait and figure that out. I gotta finish designing that. I'm ho hoping to get that designed today. We need to have our well pump around the same time as our boiler because we need to have some clean. We need to have clean water. Clean in a lot, right? We need, have, we need to have like over, we need to have over 200 gallons of clean water to put inside of the outdoor boiler to get the outdoor boiler running. Then we'll also need like five gallons inside for our radiant heat. So we gotta get all this hooked up, make sure it's staying above freezing, and then we can call the well guys in, have them install the well pump, and then we can hook up the boiler. So it's kind of been a juggling game going back and forth on 
what parts are next. So we had to get the solar, we had to get everything spray foamed so we could keep it warm in here. And then we had to get the solar hooked up and now we can start working on the heat part. And I'm starting to learn that things take process and steps, not just happens like that. But with the boiler, I thought it was kind of just like, oh, we have the spray foam in the solar and it's gonna get hooked up, but it's, it doesn't, it's not that simple. So it's a process and it's something new as well. So we're learning and figuring out as we go. We are. Well, it feels good to be getting closer and closer to getting the heat installed. There's so many projects that I want to get started on, on this tiny house. I just am having a hard time focusing on one. There's just so many things to do and I'm looking forward to all of them. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, share it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.